So every morning I'm gonna come on here before I go to the community garden and I'm gonna invite one person on so they can tell their story. So between eight and nine a.m. Eastern, I'm gonna take that exact same route, come to this special place and invite someone on so we can rap and I can get to know you and you can get to know me and you can get to know the community. Check out this place, y'all. I'm gonna use this as my holder. Let's see if this works, y'all. I'll give you a little bit more of the, uh, it's raining a little bit. Can y'all see the raindrops? So I'm just gonna randomly select rad, one rad ninja and y'all can come on and we can chat and uh, just rap, y'all. So I'm going to put this right here 
Remember, every day between 8 and 9 a.m., I'm gonna take the same route. And I got a delicious peach I'm gonna eat right now while we play. Boom. Let's flip this around. Boo! Give me some hearts, y'all, if you can see me. I'm gonna see if I can move this rock right here so I can have like a little bench. Actually, you know what? I don't need a bench, y'all. This would be a cool, cool rock, though. I could put my backpack on it, though. Check out my favorite. Nikki gave me this, y'all. Kaka, 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 kaka. My name is Kaka Poo Poo. I come from the Poo Poo Clan. Check out this peach. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna invite someone on right now, let's see. Oh, invite to watch? That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Diana, I sent you an... So every day, I'm going to do this. And if someone doesn't come on, it's okay. Because um, this is going to be my route to the community garden that I joined about a month ago. And um, I haven't been there for like 13 days because... You know, once we had that emergency, when we had a ninja flip over to Omaha, Omaha, we were gone for so long. So this gets my lymphatic system moving. I'm going to go to the beach, do this every morning between 8 and 9, and then I'm going to go to the garden. So then that way I can spread the love over there and make sure it's getting its water, make sure I'm tending to that garden and any other gardens. And so this is just a perfect way for me to kickstart my day. I've only got 87 more days. I'm going to ninja flip over to Kauai for 60 days. All right, so I'm trying to add Diana. Does anybody want to come on? Amanda, do you want to come on and chat? We've never wrapped it before. Hi, Linda. Do you want to come in and chat? The peach, 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 peach. I think Lana got these at Saswa. I call it Saswa. I think it's called Sanwa um, in Tampa. She got a big case of these. Delicious. They're super juicy, too. Laura, do you want to come on and wrap, you little rad ninja? I know you do. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Diana says, I'll come on another day. Looking pretty rough right now. Hadn't been feeling good for a few days. That's 90% of everybody's uh, fear to come on. I don't care if you've got ruffles, have ridges all up on your shirt, if you got mustard all up on your face, if you got mayonnaise on your forehead, if you got like little eye boogers from waking up. That's showing up as your true self. Do you think everybody, do you think I show myself? <laughs> I mean, I get it, but it took me a long time to be like, yo. This is who I am. I don't want a bunch of jump cut videos. I don't want everything glittered and all that stuff. So I get it. So Diana, between eight and nine, get yourself however you want to get yourself. And every morning I'll try to invite you on. And uh, I know you live very close to Lana. And I know this is your hood. And you always, uh, in the comment section, give me good places to go. And now that I've got, oh, Nelly, my rad little ninja bike, I can ride everywhere. And so I would love to rap with you because I know, um, you know, you're just super rad. Amanda, why not? Sure. All right, Amanda, you're coming on. Laura, I sent you an invite. Everybody send Laura 
you know, friend her, follow her, support her. I believe her father passed away yesterday. So spread the love, you know, send her some good vibes. Um, seems a lot of people are passing lately, at least people in, in my small circle. And um, I, it's difficult, you know. I haven't really lost all that many people, like close, close family. Um, but it's, it's really, really tough when you, when you lose a family member just from what I've seen. And that's why, you know, I filled out my will yesterday. I filled out my executor yesterday. Um, I'm looking at a life insurance policy. Um, I've been a USA member for 30 years just because my, my, um, I joined the Navy in uh, 1999, but then my first ex-wife's dad was a warrant officer, so he was in the Navy for like 25 years. So I've been, it shows that I've been a USA member for 30 years, and they have life insurance policies because I never even really cared about life insurance policies until I was uh, starting paying attention. And I could pay $98 a month and have a million dollar life insurance policy for my daughter, Jordan. Now, I'm going to live till I'm 169, right, with my delicious, I don't know what color it is, a little what, what mohawk between my butt cleave, levitating, meditating, pissing glitter, and smelling like peaches. But if something does happen, I don't want a $700 car payment. I don't want a $1,300 house payment. I want the very minimum, so then I'm taking care of myself on a minimalistic level where nothing's taking my energy, and then my daughter is taken care of. So I've been doing the executor, the will, turning into VA, um, and the people that are my friends that have been having family members pass away has enlightened me, and, and I'm aware of that. And most of the time when I'm aware of something, I execute as quick as I can, y'all. All right, Amanda, let's play. Let's see if Amanda wants to come on. Because it's in your heart, Amanda Carter Lewis. I don't think I've ever rapped with Amanda. Laura says, be careful. My dad and mom plan to give me a life insurance, but his new wife has cashed that in. Hi, Amanda. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, you're crystal clear and I can hear you perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Headphones. It's like, I could, it's like I could touch you. hi -ya! <laughs> So I don't think we've ever rapped before. You want to tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what your fitness and health goals are, what your favorite dessert is, what your favorite color is? Did I lose you? Here we are. I'm back. Oh, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Oh, I was just asking how you were. Oh, I'm super rad. I'm super rad. I just want to know, like, how how we became friends. Are you in the group? What's your favorite yeah, color, I'm your in, favorite dessert? I don't know who brought me into the group, but I've been with you all now probably for a year or so. Or no, not rad, a year, that's sorry. About as long, no. That's about as long uh, as the group no, has sorry. been. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm going to really try not to interrupt you. Ready, go. Oh, no, no, it's all good. Somebody was trying to call in, so I was ignoring them. <laughs> oh, okay, um, okay. Yeah, no, I've been with you guys now for a couple months. Somebody added me, don't know who, and I've been with you guys since and enjoying it. Yeah, Loving. where do you live? Um, currently in Georgia, Augusta, Georgia. I am from Detroit, Michigan, and we moved here about two years ago, and it's probably one of the best things ever. You know, um, the last Rock and Rad star that I played with, I think it was yesterday or the day before, she was from Detroit, Michigan. Yes, and she I saw over her. To Hawaii and said, yes. what, what? And, that you is know, crazy. And I think that's so awesome. Oh, yes. And that, I mean, sometimes you got to just do a move. We were in a situation that just was not good for me and my family, and we saved up and said, we're done. And we moved, and we're better job, better everything. So it's good. <laughs> Life's Very good. cool. Oh, I yeah. used to tear it up. I used to tear it up in Atlanta a lot. I used to love Georgia because I lived in Alabama for I think three or four years. But they used to have this jazz party in the in Atlanta in this super large park, and you could just and it was the coolest park. It was like downtown Atlanta, and just the vibe there was amazing. I remember seeing this like little little black kid, this beautiful black kid with like these dreads just like dancing to like some bongos and stuff and just the sun and, and it was like a I have festival. yet to really go to Atlanta 
I've been that really? way once, dropping some friends off. But yeah, everybody's like, yeah, you don't want to go there. It's it's just, it's too much chaos. And I have anxiety. My daughter has anxiety. And if there's a lot of people, yeah, I'm better off just staying in our small towns. Yeah. In Augusta, you know, I, I mean, it's not from... small, but it's big. You know, it's a decent little town. <laughs> I still suffer from anxiety. This is one of the big reasons why I started doing this two years ago is to face my fears of public speaking and anxiety. And this actually has helped me out a lot because when you're front and center in front of, you know, sometimes, you know, I have videos that have, you know, 60,000 hits or whatever, 60,000 mm -hmm. views. Then, you know, you're staring at this little ninja lens, but then when you get in front of people, you can just act like they're little lenses, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm getting better with mine. I have my and on days but overall right now I'm dealing with my little girl having her in my are you on any medication the house right now she gets she freaks out way too much and I'm trying to figure out how to get her into a school without passing out <laughs> it's been a crazy crazy last few months are you are you and your daughter on any uh medication not yet. Um, I'm waiting for my uh, our wedding, our, my husband's and my marriage certificate. I've been married for 15 years, and we lost it. First time ever that we've lost our marriage certificate. So with the, our insurance, I can't get my insurance back until it comes in. And my daughter, she's actually got an appointment now because she came up to me, and we got to talk, Mom, and she's telling me how she was thinking about school, and she went into a panic attack. Uh -oh. and that yeah, was those that. marriage certificates, those marriage certificates are like gold. I remember the second time I got married, I couldn't get married until I found that kiss certificate, and it was a hard time to re-get it and all that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta yeah, like and it's a so. small town that we got married in, and they are, they're not hooked up on the web at all. So it's a, you either gotta go there, which is like a three-hour drive, or come, you know, send it out and just wait. So we're sending and waiting. <laughs> Well, have you been on medication before? Because when I, when I had anxiety and my second wife really wanted me to go get on medication and stuff, they gave me a Wellbutrin and something else. And I did it for like eight, nine months, but I did not feel good on it. It like totally changed my body chemistry. It messed See, me up. See, I'm hesitant with that. I'm very hesitant with taking pills and everything like that my family has major addictions that run through it and to me that's one of those things i know i have to watch for otherwise it could be bad your teeth are clean yeah <laughs> my dogs are out there barking don't know if you hear them or not i was listening you said typically and then and then you could cut off uh Oh, I was, uh, I, I said I wasn't sure if he would be hearing my dogs barking right now. They're back there being chaotic. <laughs> oh, what kind of so dogs do you got? Um, there are two pit bulls. I got a mix of a blue and a red nose. He's Zeus. And then my Rue, she's supposed to be a mix of two breeds, but I'm sorry, she's a pit. You can see it. She's not, a, she's supposed to be like a Boston something or other with a uh, bulldog. No, that's a pit head. <laughs> pit head, pit body. So she just took around home with us. She's our pit little girl. Pit bulls get a bad name. Pit oh, they really do. Name. They really do. They, they're, they're angels. They're, they're sweethearts. You got to know how to treat them. You got to know, you got to respect the dog. And, you know, you got to know not to leave your kids around them. I have three children. They all grew up with them and never once had an issue. How old are your children? Um, I have a soon-to-be 17-year-old son, a 14-year-old daughter, and a 11-year-old boy. <laughs> All right. Wow, you, that you must will be loved. Good. Yes, I, I can't complain. I got lucky with my kids. They're real good. They're, they're awesome. Yeah. Very, very cool. So have you been Facebook Live like this before? Um, no, mainly when I do, like, my kids' school concerts. <laughs> I'm yeah, never on never it. But, mm -mm. Ne but never like like a double like this, like a tag team? God, no. <laughs> uh -uh. Boom. All right, you're popping your cherry. So I'm going <laughs> to give you some advice if you want some, okay? So 
you said you have anxiety, right? Yep. Now, I don't know how many friends you have on your Facebook. If they're like acquaintances, if they're like ex-boyfriends for like fourth grade or a crush or a high school sweetheart or whatever. But I found as soon as I pushed play and play, just started being vulnerable and talking about whatever was on my mind, my anxiety got better just by doing that. And social media gets a bad rap. I did get a lot of heat though from family members and friends like, damn, Tom, why are you talking about that? You're embarrassing yourself. So that might be something. But if that's something you might be interested in, I will gift you for free the 12 week ridiculously raw authentic meal plan. And so then you can make like a little smoothie or like a little soup, right? Or you or mm-hmm. wherever you grocery shop, you can get the meal plan and then do like a, a, a grocery bounty and be like, I got these peaches for like two ninety nine a pound or I got some rad bananas for $2.99 a pound, whatever it is. And then that way you can kind of face your fears of maybe going online. But you can have like little products like bananas and avocados and stuff like that. Yeah. Heck yeah. Does that sound good? Yes. And then I can introduce you all to Lidl if you haven't heard of that store. You were talking Ooh. about all these the other day. Lidl yeah. is their competition. How do you spell that? L I D L. L I D L. Yes. Are you sure that's are you sure that's not a chocolate a chocolate company? Mm-hmm. Oh no, we we have several of their stores now and unlike all these, there's no twenty five cent little coin deal at their thing. Their prices are comparable to them and I mean to me they're just as good, maybe even better. Yeah. All right. So you're so you're gonna ninja, you wanna play then and you could go live. You go live, go live. Just try once a week. Like every time you get your 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 bounty just push live and then and then just play and tell us what you got and then maybe the next day you can go li- or the next week you can go live twice or whatever do smoothies whatever it is and that will be fun right it will give you something to do you'll meet a lot of rock and rad stars like this you know what i'm saying uh-huh. and then and, and then what's cool about the group is that say say you're having uh issues with your 17 year old which we probably never have but then you can write about it and be like hey my 17 year old is doing this you know how many 17 year old people and they're like oh, this. or if you could be like this there's these new bananas that i got for 29 cents a pound are making me constipated you could write about it and the people are like yeah those bananas make me constipated too so like you could talk about anything and you'll start you know building a smaller circle mm-hmm. online and for me the anxiety got a little bit less just doing that sweet hey i'm willing to try anything boom so i'm gonna send you the meal plan today send me a private message and then your email address, and then you got to make sure you, you check your spam folder. And then that's awesome. I, I love awesome. that. Awesome. See, I'm glad I, I decided to say yes. Were you, what were you doing when I was riding, oh, Nelly, when I was riding my bike? Were you just like eating just, your oatmeal or eating Just your waking up and perking coffee. <laughs> my, my, right. my morning routine starts with coffee. Otherwise, I'm a miserable person. <laughs> what kind of coffee? Um, I'm just a, uh, right now, a Maxwell House type of person. In the morning, I go straight for the, the big pot, perk it, and let me have my cups. Otherwise, like I it, will make my cappuccinos. Like black? And, um, I like it with a little bit of cream and sugar. I used to drink black, and then after I had uh, got pregnant with one of my children, I couldn't do black anymore. I had to go with cream and sugar only. <laughs> what, what kind of cream do you use? What brand? Um, Coffee Mate currently. I've tried switching over to milk because I try to go with as natural food as I can. And I know creamer is not the most healthiest, but I can't do the milk in my coffee. It's got to be cream. <laughs> you know, one thing I've noticed with coffee drinkers is that they're religious about their cream. Like once you get to a brand, you're like, no way. I'm not trying to, unless they release like a pumpkin spice during the holiday. or Because it changes flavors. They don't have the same flavors. I'm very picky when it comes to my creamer too. I will say Coffee Mate reign, reign supreme. I, I, I will try the off brands just to save money, but I always go back to Coffee Mate. <laughs> they get you. They get you. They right? do. Yeah. So does, does coffee make you ninja your brain ninja flip and like give you the fuel does it help you go caca in the morning like what does coffee do because it's kind of addictive i right? say like, it's, it's my kind of sanity oh it, it probably is seriously i will drink easily five pots or more a day P- if, pots if i yeah pots. if i'm not drink yes a 12 cup pot of coffee <laughs> If I don't have water, I'm drinking coffee. So it's either or. <laughs> so a lot wow, of times people see me with both. I bet you. Yeah. I bet you pee black. 
No, no. Actually, I, it's, it's a pretty healthy color. <laughs> You know, you know, if I drink any coffee because I'm super sensitive, my pee like stinks like coffee, like when I do asparagus and I'll get like a 20 minute rush and then I'll get a coffee crash real fast. So it's kind of like it's not really uh, optimal for me. But if you're drinking five pots, I'm one like, of those whoa. that eat the chocolate covered beans that'll eat the coffee beans without an issue. I I'm a coffee fanatic. That, hey, that's cool. Have you tried um, <laughs> any of the. Um, the, the butter in it with like some MCT oil and blend it up? No, not yet. Okay, I'll send you a recipe. I think you'll really, really like it. Oh, please do. I will. So is there anything else? All right, you got to tell us. You got to tell us. You got to tell us something rad. Wait, here. I, so this is my first episode of this. So I'm new and I'm really not the best interviewer because I just have fun. It's just like <laughs> a bunch of kids rapping like when they have a stay over or whatever. Because <laughs> you know how fun that used to be. So maybe you can help me out. Maybe we, we can figure something out. What would be like a good outro for these this series of um, Tell Your Story? This is part one. Um, Boom. Sorry, I was so cut off. Be, what would be a good follow-up question for everybody that comes and plays? Like, like um, maybe tell us tell us one secret of about yourself that not many people know. Oh, that's a good one. Crap. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm pretty much an open, honest person. So I, I, I warn people, you, you don't want the truth or anything from me, don't come to me. <laughs> I will be, I'm, I'm 100% true and honest to everybody. Very cool. Where's, what, what's that accent? That's not a Detroit accent. Oh, that's a Detroit accent, maybe mixed with some Georgia now, but that's Detroit. I think it's Detroit with some Georgia swing or swag. Or it could be. Or My mom, well, she she grew up in Texas. So, you know, I grew up saying wash instead of wash. So Warsh. we already had that Southern in us, thanks to my mom. But, yeah, being down here, like even my best friend, she's been down here, I think, a couple years longer than me now. And, ooh, you can hear it drop. And she grew up and was raised in Detroit, you know, and <laughs> – you hear that southern slang come out of her, and I, I love calling her out on it. Look at that. What was that? Did you just say y'all? <laughs> well, you know, I've lived in South Carolina and Alabama, and I never used to say y'all. And I, that's part, it just grew on me. Like, it just grew on me. So I say y'all all the time now, and it's hard, it's hard to, like, stop saying. It's just, it's, uh-huh. like a, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a word mender. It's like a word jelly. You know, like, mm-hmm. y'all, instead of saying it's 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 fun to say oh it is and it's it's, it's easier to type too cut out well, a couple letters and just write y'all <laughs> well i didn't know when i first started like typing it if it's y that little ninja apostrophe thing a l l or i was just going y a l l and then i mm-hmm. was thinking, well, this is y apostrophe a l i'm like how do we spell it just like ice cream some people combine the word ice cream but some people didn't chop yep. it in half yep. right and You'd so, be like oh, that donut, another word. donut donut yeah. people, yes. And yeah, see, I'm a baker. I, I was a baker for a few uh, years working up in Michigan, and uh, uh, I'm like, no, you got to spell it right, and it, it's the D O U G H. <laughs> it's the dough. <laughs> you know what? I did a, a, a funny one minute clip with uh, my G rap filter on Snapchat, and it was about donuts, and I spelled it the D O N O G. I used G H, but then I went on Instagram. And like ninety percent of the population actually just spells it D O N U T, mm-hmm, and I was like, that, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look at this. Oh, you Aww. can't read it. No, I can't. It's cool? backwards, but it looks cute. Yeah. Lana's but... mom is like a walking meme. She used to clip. She had thousands of stuff like this, right? So two things that I found, one thing when I opened up her trunk, because she was kind of living out of her car, or had a bunch of stuff in her car, like a bunch, is I ninja flipped up to the trunk, and the first thing I saw was this brown leather Bible, and it said Collins on it, which is my last name. I mean, out of all this stuff, I looked at it and it said Collins. I was like, whoa, that's interesting. And then Lana found this, and it says, let us be known by love, our love, and it's in a heart form. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is so cool. That is awesome. Do you have, do you have any tattoos? Because this would be a rad tattoo. Actually, I got two of them. Both need, oh, yeah? uh, one's got to get redone and the other's a total cover up. 
one of those <laughs> young, dumb, it's like that big, but it looks like crap. And I'm like, yeah. What was it, like up. Tweety Bird? Was it Tweety um, No, like, it's supposed it? to be a rose with a treble clef. And a I'm a rose with a treble clef, you know, the little music symbol. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can't make any of it out, so I just got to decide what I want. I'm thinking cupcake with that Cheshire, uh, Cheshire cat kind of sitting on it, so it covers my love for cats and baking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I'm I'm kind of surprised you don't have a pot of coffee with you right now. No, it's in the house. Oh. <laughs> I, I just took the dogs out and went, okay, let's do it, sure. <laughs> Do you have one of those big, giant travel ones that you go in the car with the mug? Oh, yeah. We've had those. I got those, the friend size coffee cups. And, you know, I, I got a whole bunch of different sizes. I, I vary. And then, of course, thermoses. And my to-go cups fit nicely in my car holder. Yeah. So I'm pretty good. Well, Amanda, I got to get going because I'm, I got to go ninja flip over the community yes, garden. And I, I want to thank you. Oh, thank I you, Tom. Yeah, I'm glad we got yeah, to yeah, meet. <laughs> and so I'll send you the meal plan, and every day I'm going to do this, and if you're the only person in here, you know, I'm going to invite join you. you. We can make, I'll we join can make you. the Amanda Tom morning show. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later, Tom. Be careful today. Okay. All right, I love Bye, you. guys. Bye-bye. Bye, loves. What, what? All right, y'all. That was fun. So, look, that was a success. So every single day I'm going to do this. I know a lot of people are, like, working and stuff, but – it's because I'm going to be going to the gardens anyways. Oh, I got to take her off here. Yes. Let me take you off. Hi. So every day, y'all, between 8 and 9, we're going to get it on. So look at this. This is a, a Miller light bottle. I better, I better pick this up. Look at that tree. Isn't that cool, y'all? So every day between 8 and 9, and then my vlog is at 10. AM, 87 more days, and I'm gonna be ninja flipping over to Kauai. I'm gonna stay for 60 days. See, look where I park my bike, y'all, look at. Look at, oh, Nelly, oh, Nelly. Y'all wanna see what I used? Cause I'm definitely no MacGyver. Look what I used, here, I'll give you the beach one more time. See, sometimes I really don't like talking. It's so much more peaceful with just quiet. But I'm gonna show you what I did because I think it's rad and it's not the final version, but that's how you all saw the beginning of this video. So check this out, it's so funny. Look. See how I did this? I tied all this on it and it has a little USB thing. So I think I'm gonna ninja flip like a battery pack right here with some Velcro. Then I can plug it in and then this LED light will shine up on my face. And then this thing, right, I just put right there and it worked. And you know I like my song, It's In Your Heart. Because we all have self-love, we all have that love inside. We just have to, we have to massage it, we have to make out with it. We have to accept who we are, we have to forgive ourselves. And then you'll have more of that superpower and then nothing, you know, not as much will bother you. Then you can just play. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I love you. Thank you for joining me, Amanda. Laura, you're next tomorrow. Cindy, you're next tomorrow. Lorna, you're next tomorrow. Kristen, you're next tomorrow. Any of you all, between 8 and 9, even get prepped for it. It's just going to be random. Or reach out to me. Most of the time I like doing these just like not planned. I don't plan any of this. But if you really, really want to play um, and you want to tell your story, if you're going through something, just send me like an intimate little private message and be like, hey, Tom, I want to play next Wednesday. What, what? I love you all. Keep it raw. Stay rad. What, what?